We were told by our friend Ruben that this may ruin Starbucks for us because of this coffee and how good this is. So I really have high expectations right now. Buenos dias! Welcome to today. We are going to be exploring Buenos Aires today. So yeah, last night, even though we were dog tired after uh, having to deal with the whole taxi Uber fiasco, we eventually made it to our Airbnb. We were so tired, but we had to do laundry because you know what? We were out of clean clothes. So laundry is drying. We're here for the next two nights. So I have plenty of time to dry. I may not be vlogging as much outside. Our Airbnb host did let us know that me holding the camera like this out in front of me, talking, it's my, with my iPhone, she said it probably will just be taken. Um, so not gonna do that, especially in the touristy areas where it's crowded. Also, she recommended for us not to speak English as much in public. And then some kind of sauce. It's like, it looks like egg, like eggplant. This is really good. It's eggplant. We kind of came early to lunch. It's just noon, but we hadn't eaten breakfast yet, so we needed to eat before we go explore. Oh, look at my tamale. It is smoking hot. And then we got two different kinds of empanadas. We got a seven cheese one and an Italian one. It's like string. I don't know how to get in this. It's really thick. but we just saw Visa and so we went to pay with our credit card. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. So Peter just went to go pull out some cash. Pictures. Started to rain pretty nasty actually. Alright, here we go. I just look at the sky, I'm going, I think it's gonna start raining, and sure enough, it's been threatening to you all day. This is actually quite nasty. Is it time for coffee yet? <laughs> We're heading that direction. <laughs> We're gonna go to a famous coffee place, someone that we know from Colorado, um, who was born here in Argentina. Let us know that this is a must coffee shop. One thing I found out while traveling that I did not know before was that every country has a mile or kilometer zero. Bienvenidos a Cafe Marconi. We'll be exported in. Back tomorrow. 
<laughs> and what was it? Only like three bucks for all this? Four uh, bucks. Four bucks. Yeah, just a little over four dollars. If you Smaller. if you just got the coffee, it was only two. But I still like the Vietnamese coffee better with some of that condensed sweetened milk. Oh. You're like, I don't want sugar in my coffee. That's too unhealthy. And it's condensed I'll take milk. That. <laughs> condensed milk. It's the same thing, right? This, this is really good though. Health experts out there, is sweet condensed milk worse than regular white sugar? Alright, just finished up with our cafe. It was muy bueno. I, I would say if you're coming here and you want to get a coffee, definitely get it. But I wouldn't say it's a reason to come here. It was a good coffee though. We realized we forgot to get it. Dulce de leche, we just got leche, which is just milk. We didn't get the caramel. Anyways, oops. This is the pink house, which is uh, the president's offices. Huge flag there. And then, so this is the Plaza de Mayo. And then here, this is um, the white building that's behind the bus, is a building for the revolution of May that they had. So there you go. That's where we are. Ooh, look at the dome. Avenue, widest avenue in the world, apparently. 20 lanes of traffic. 20! It takes usually two times to get across if you're just walking. You gotta run if you wanna make it across in one lane. This is kinda like the Times Square, New York. The busy center, Buenos Aires. This is the Washington Monument number two. Oh, whoops, I mean the uh, obelisk of Buenos Aires. It's too cold. Time to get back to the Airbnb. So earlier today when I had to take out the money from the ATM, it was crazy. The ATM charged over $10 for being able to withdraw off any money. That's the record. That's the most that we've had to pay in a fee for taking money out of the ATM. Thankfully, Charles Schwab reimburses ATM fees worldwide currently, but who knows how long it's going to last if more people like us are doing this or advertising this. Today, we are gonna go and explore what is our We just bought this action camera. It's a cheap action cam. It's 60 bucks and there's a reason. There's always reasons it's cheap. Yeah. It's messing around with the settings and finally figured out how to get rid of this watermark. Because by default, it's putting a stupid date and time up on, the on your uh, footage. It's like, who does that? It's an old thing. Oh, my camera's fogging up because of the noodles. <laughs> Hang on. Woo! That's a fun cork. <laughs> Most forks are just boring. That one's fun. Keep it. 